Hello learners, today we will see the third and penultimate, that is second last part of your technical writing describing machines and mechanism. Being a part of any company or being an engineer, you will work for a company which produces machines or develops a mechanism, then you will have to describe them. Now let's follow this. How to describe them? Overall description about the physical characteristics of the machine and its mechanism. First you have to describe that. Details of its parts or constituents of any mechanism. Follow a logical order that is general to specific or specific to general. Now what is general to specific? For example, if you want to define water to any layperson, then you will define that it's a liquid used to drink drinking purpose or for various household chores that is water and if you want to be specific then you will have an audience or you should have an audience who are literate or educated or they have the science background then you can tell them what water is a molecule it's it is made up of two molecules of hydrogen and, and one molecule of oxygen this is specific. So this is how you, you either start the description with general to specific or be specific and then go to general. Now, let's see. Describe them in the order in which they function. Maybe the mechanism how it works or the machine how it works. Describe them in order in which they function. If two or more parts, this is about if two or more parts function simultaneously, then follow order of importance. Like you might have, you might have used the lathe machine, how to operate it efficiently, and at the same time you should not hurt yourself. So this is how you can describe a machine. Follow a spatial order depending upon the space. Describe them as you come to them from outside to inside, top to bottom, or left to right. Like you do in your engineering drawing, like from top to bottom or how it looks from the top view or the bottom view that you describe. If you want to learn it practically, just go to YouTube and watch any unboxing video of any gadget. You will find the description properly. Now describing processes. Here we'll have an example of replacing SIM. How to replace a SIM around the edge of the phone? If your phone doesn't have a removable back, then you will need to examine the outside edges of the phone to find the SIM tray. It's a small bay with a little hole on one side like in the following image. To remove it, you will need a SIM removal tool. Most phones come with one in the box and you can buy them for very cheap but you can also just use a small paper clip in a pinch now focus on the work the process performs describe each step clearly show how the various steps constitute a chain of functions leading to an end result like you do in your chemistry or physics practical or other practice it is good to describe the basic principle theory materials and machines involved steps in the process how many steps are there and what step you should take first variations in the process product or end result of the process like you do in your physics or chemistry practical thank you for watching